Welcome back, everyone, to episode number 15 in our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. And this is an episode that I'm particularly excited about because in this one episode, hopefully, if we don't run out of time, we are going to make more money and spend less money at the same time. So our profits should really take off in this episode. That is, of course, if I can manage to get it all into the same episode. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's go ahead and start by coming into our shop. And if you remember from previous episodes, we've been having all sorts of trouble with our mobile phones, smart glasses, smartphones, and finally our laptops. Our demand went basically down to zero. We started losing money. Our profit per day, which right now sits at 128000 let's go ahead and start our time here, which right now is around 128000 uh, tank to end of the red and we were losing something like 200,000 a day. So demand has started coming back. So now we need to set our prices back a little bit higher and see if we can't get some money out of this. Cause right now we're making very little. If we take a look in here, we're selling, sure. We're selling plenty of them, but I mean, we're making, you know, 5,000, 5,500 per day. That's not where we want to be. Okay. I don't think we can get back to where we were before, but this isn't where we want to be. So let's go ahead and change these. And then over the course of the episode, we'll let this happen as it's going to happen. And we'll check back in on it later. Uh, sales price here, smart glasses. Let's go ahead and I'll tell you what, let's leave that one alone. Let's leave that one alone because demand was really horrible for it. Uh, let's come down to our smartphone and we really, let's just make a nice even jump there of $100. And Let's see, where do we want to go here? Let's jump to about 180. Okay, so this should really help our profit percentage, assuming, of course, that the demand is still there even after we increase the prices. So we'll sort of let that ride. I'm not going to worry about the other cities right now. We know, as you know from the uh, past videos in the series, we have two more cities, but you know, this isn't something we're going to worry too much about right now. So let's go ahead and change those prices, see if we can't get some more money rolling in. And get this profit way up. Now, how else are we going to get this profit way up? Well, we're going to increase our production. We're going to make some more cars. But the other way we can do it is reduce cost. And the way we're going to do that is here in the research center. Now, you can see that each product building and resource building has ways that you can research lowering your cost. And the way you do that is on just for the vehicle factory as an example, you come in here and you see production line cost. If we click on that, you can see for every, we have three steps available, three levels, and for each, I believe it's going to be 10%. But if it's uh, not 10% for each, you can see it's still going to be a substantial decrease in cost. So how do we know how much we'll be saving rather than the percentage? Well, we can come over to any of these that we want to. Let's take a look at a mine, for example. All right, if we come into the mine, you can see there are no resource costs because, of course, we are mining the resources, but our production cost is the entirety of our cost because we don't have any feature cost. So production cost 833. So you can tell real quick that if we could reduce that 20 or 30 percent, that's huge because that's going to filter into our other factories that are using our mined resources all the way up through our final products. Now, if we come into something a little bit different, such as a software company, well, a software company doesn't have any resource costs because it's only using labor. So if we reduce our production cost here, you can see worker cost is a huge po portion of that. Production line cost, which is what we would be further researching, is $10.57 of that. So you can see here what effect that would have on the bottom line. So reducing our cost is going to have a huge effect. So in no particular order, let's just go ahead. We're going to start at the bottom, and then we're going to work our way through these resource buildings. We're going to do one, two, three there. And then warehouse is nothing to research there. Oil, one, two, three there. So we're going to let those continue to go. And it's, as I remember, hopefully throughout the episode, I'll remember to take a look at research, and we'll just keep these moving right along because it should go pretty quickly. Now, where do we want to go next? Well, now we go to production. If you remember from our previous episode, 
we were making family cars, and you can see the list of things that we needed to put in place. Now, most of these we already had, but a few of these, like steel alloy, car glass, and synthetic textiles, we needed to get. So we got those in place. Now, if we come down and look, what would we need for a mini compact car? Well, lo and behold, it's nearly exactly the same as what we need for a family car, which is good news for us because we're already making it. This is where the economies of scale really can click in for us and get our profit going. So what we need right now is to start making mini compact cars. Let's take care of that. And for that, we are actually running out of room yet again. So I am going to purchase this area right here. Now, we're not exactly ready for, for all of what's needed here, but in future episodes, we're going to need these particular resources here, and this seems to be a good area for them. So we're going to keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and buy this area for the resources, which we don't quite need yet, but then we're going to come over here just because it's close by, and we're going to buy this area. And this area we're going to buy because this is where we're going to put some more vehicle factories. And that is if I can remember which one of these is vehicle factory. And let's keep going. Personal electronics. Vehicle factory. Here we go. And as you can see, we're not going to be able to fit too terribly many of these in here. But we'll fit what we can in here. And then we'll buy more space. All right. And right now, I'm actually going to buy two of these. And we're not going to worry about space again. We've got no competitors in all of this room on the map. So I'm not going to worry about it. Let's speed up time a little bit. Now, why did I buy two of these? Well, the reason is many compact cars use exactly the same. So we should be able to set those up pretty quick. But then beyond that, if I come over to family cars, look at what we need for a van. We need the exact same thing. Wow. So we're going to be able to set up two new facilities pretty quickly. And our research is just going by. Look at this. We're running gangbusters on research here. So. Let's take a look at our research. Production line cost there. Production line cost there. Almost done. Come down here to our farm. One, two, three levels there. And so things are just moving right along. Let's go ahead and move along to the next one because we are, yep, we're done there now. So let's go ahead and one, two, three there. So now research off and moving. Now we have our two. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that sped up. All right, so what are we going to make in this first vehicle factory? Well, we're going to make our mini compact car. But first, we need to upgrade our workforce. And not sure we need the family car upgrade. Let's go ahead and find out if, if it is something we need. So mini compact car, you can see we need a whole host of things. Production costs are huge. Feature costs also huge. All right, so it turns out we didn't need that upgrade. We'll go ahead and max out our quality. Again, not sure that that does anything, but how many of these can we make per day? Okay, so about the same as we could make of the family car. So we'll make about six of these a day. Do we want to hire our workers? Absolutely, we do. And in the bottom right-hand corner, if you'll keep that in and that number in mind and watch it as it changes, it should be growing as we continue to research our product improvements. All right, so now what all do we need for this car? Well, I don't remember exactly what all we need, but first things first, we are going to send our final product to warehouse number four. All right, and next product in line, I believe, is plastic. And I'm going to go under the assumption so far that we're using exactly the same thing as what we need. Let's go ahead and get time going again. We didn't need that progress report. So plastics right here from warehouse number one. Next up, I believe, is rubber, which is in three which is right there. Chemicals. And I believe for that, we're back to the first warehouse. And we are. Steel alloy. We set up in our previous episode, so it is in number four. And we are also uh, in pretty close need of some additional space in our warehouses. So we'll take care of that as well. So car glass. 
we need working our way down synthetic textiles i can't actually remember if we needed those for this and yes we do all right so we're going maybe it was plant textiles we don't need so we'll skip over that one and go to wires and cables which is right there and then i can't remember oh electronic components there we go and that may be it electronic components i believe are in three and there they are okay let's come back up to our production line take a look here and yep we've got everything accounted for come to our warehouse and see that we're making those and we did product request somebody wants some graphite now we're not we're not messing with that stuff we're sticking to the plan all right mini compact cars we've got going to four all right with that in mind let's take a quick glance at our nearest warehouse and let's see if we find some cars in here there we go mini compact cars they're moving in so now you know what that means we need to come back up here to our shop and start selling these things all right it wants to sell those for that I'm not gonna bother with changing that out because I have absolutely no idea if that's a good price or not so we're gonna let that ride for right now and we'll come back around here in just a moment and see if we're still able to sell those for that price okay so now we've got our prices and everything up and going looks like yeah it looks like we're good there so if we're able to sell that amount okay keep in mind this was we had a, a huge amount of them uh, at one time there uh, that were stored in our warehouse so now not bad so we're able to make a good bit we don't have a whole bunch stored and oh great another food sanitation problem that's going to kill our farms but luckily for us that shouldn't last too terribly long, so we'll let that run its course. Okay, so we're making some nice profit there. You can see our profit down at the bottom right has now jumped again, and we did nothing but create another factory to make more products. Okay, that leaves us, where do we go next? Well, next, we're coming back to our another vehicle factory, and we're gonna make vans here. Let's upgrade our workforce, and I don't think we need either one of those upgrades, and we want to make vans we're missing the family cars upgrade okay well so be it family cars it is upgrade costs us two hundred thousand. now let's come back in and see if we can make some vans now make vans absolutely and you can see the products look very much like what we've already been using so let's make some vans okay so we know what we need let's go ahead and have these vans go to warehouse number four and let's start looking for all of our raw materials and see how many of these we actually need because i can't remember exactly i know we need plastics so we got that from warehouse number one i know we need some rubber which is three maybe okay so far so good we need chemicals from our first warehouse okay and steel alloy i'm sure we need that and that we did yesterday in, in yesterday's video so we need that from number four car glass I'm sure we need which was also from our previous video and let's see now it's gonna get a little hazy for me what else do we need okay so we're gonna need some aluminum synthetic textiles wires okay all right so aluminum actually I believe is in warehouse number two we'll find out shortly may have to check on that because I think that's right I think we've got plenty in there all right so next we're going to need I believe plant textiles no synthetic textiles there okay and I know we needed electronic components that's in warehouse three I believe there we go and so what else am I missing here I'm missing the okay the aluminum is not there and we need wires and cables okay all right the aluminum is not in two it's in three I believe and let's get our wires and cables and then we'll come back and check on that aluminum 
Okay, wires and cables. I believe that rounds everything out. And yes, that's correct. So there you go. That takes care of that. And to get everything up and running, let's max out our quality. And then of course, production. Again, so it seems like five to seven of these individual cars we're able to make depending on the type of car we're making. All right, and did I send our van somewhere? Yes, I did. To go, It's going to number four. Let's take one last look and make sure we've got everything we need in sufficient quantities. Looks like we do. With that in mind, let's come back over to our warehouse, number four, and we've got some vans in here. Okay, also we can check and see that our cars, we're not really uh, stocking up a ton on these. Our vans, now we're ready to go and start selling these. And this will be our final shop here before we have to upgrade once again. All right, so from number four, we get our vans. And once again, man, these, these cars sell for very nice uh, profit percentages. And look at that. That is very nice indeed. Of course, you can't get caught up by that because we were selling all that we had in our warehouse. So that's going to be a huge amount. Let's take a look at what that actually was. We sold 39 for 617,000 in uh, net profit. So that's huge. But again, we can't count on that every day, but it sure is nice to see whenever it does happen. All right. So we're selling vans. And again, we're at huge you know, triple, almost quadruple the cost on that. So I definitely like that profit percentage. And so we've now we've got them set up. Let's make sure that they're actually selling along with the others. Okay, so our unit store really aren't, it really isn't in, increasing there. So that's good. Here, we're able to sell. We're making good money here. Looks like 79, yeah, 79, $80,000. And net profit there. Now we're up over 400,000 for net profit. With that in mind, let's come back over to our research. Okay, so we're done there. So let's go one, two, three here. And one, two, three there. So we're working our way through reducing our production cost in these various facilities. And let's take a look at where we are. So so now look at that 40% reduction in cost. That is huge. Okay, so we're working here. We are working here as well, or we're just working these two. Well, now I've already forgotten. So we're doing chemical production. Okay, so we'll start to work on these, although I don't want to get too ahead of myself there. Now, with that in mind, we're doing great on time. But I don't want to try to cram too much in here. I'm just going to feel fortunate that we were able to get what we were able to get done today. Our profit is looking huge. And we continue to work through reducing our cost here. And let's go ahead and speed this up quite a bit. So we're up near 400000 per day. We're reducing our cost and increasing our production. So here's the point where we'll go ahead and take a quick glance at what's next for us? Well, again, I don't want to, as much as our, you know, sort of our economies of scale and our uh, tremendous production that we've got going right now could help us out, I don't plan to produce every one of these cars. Uh, now, in a private playthrough that I wasn't filming, yeah, I probably would just to, because this is uh, no doubt where the money is. We're making huge amounts of money off of every car we've produced so, so far. So now, we're making these top two. So let's take a look at what we need to go a little bit deeper here and start making other cars. Well, a lot of this is going to look very familiar. Plastics, rubber, inorganic chemicals, steel alloy, car glass, plant textiles, and banks are in trouble again. We're not messing with media development. All right, so banks are in trouble. No more loans. Got it. So back to this, so steel alloy, car glass, plant textiles. Now, animal textiles we have not made. So in our next video, this is what we're going to get into. A lot of this is already done, but we'll need to start mining chromium, and we'll need to start making 
animal textiles, it looks like the rest of this we've already got. And then if you look down from here, executive cars, a lot of this we've already got. Titanium alloy, we do not. Carbon reinforced, we do not. So now we start to get into some items that we don't have, and we'll see how deep we want to get into cars before we decide that maybe when we want to move into one of these other areas that we've not been into yet. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick glance at our research, and we're all done. Okay, so we've made it down through the chemical factory. Production costs are minimized. So let's go three there. One, two, three there. Wish we had actually a bigger queue because I would queue up all of these. And then whenever you get done with research there to reduce your cost, then you can come back into your production buildings and increase your uh, research there to reduce your cost there as well. But for now, as you can see, we have got our fully upgraded shop and this is just the first floor. So we can upgrade this again and get uh, some additional shops by going four by five. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, just in preparation, let's see what we've got here. Uh, we only sold two of those. That's probably because the others are going to the other areas. Yeah, they're just not getting these other stores you can see are just not getting any any cars because they're all being sold here. All right. So profit is actually decreased. That must mean that tells me that our production maybe isn't going as smoothly as we would like. Is there something we're out of? Yes, car glass is what's holding us back. And just to recap, let's let's come back out of that just for a moment and go back into our looking at our sales. Now, if you remember, we were making somewhere around five to seven of these per day. And I noticed we're only selling three here. And as we went through the others, we were not selling any in our other cities. And then I noticed that we're not selling as many of any of these. You know, we're selling, it looks like one or two per day, and it seems to oscillate, as you can see on your graph here. One day we're selling four, next day we're only selling two, and so on. And it's making our profit jump around quite a bit, which told me that something was probably awry in our production because we should be making multiple per day. And the simple fact of the matter is we're just out of car glass. We don't have enough to meet demand. Now, what's another way that you could find that out? Well, the game gives you a few different ways of seeing this. If you come in here, you can see we're down 30 per day. So you look for some the negative numbers in here. If you start to see large negative numbers in particular, then you know that you're running low. Like here, 255 positive, that means that we're producing that many more than we need each day. Same thing here with the hemp. We're producing way more than we need each day up until you reach the max volume of storage that you can actually put here, uh, which by the way, you can change, but uh, I don't see any reason to change it. So the problem we've got is that car glass, we need a lot more than we're actually making. So how do we get more of that? Well, we come back in here and let's find our glass factory or glass company rather and that's what we need and for this particular case let's go ahead and spin this one around and face this way okay we're going to put our glass company in right here let that go ahead and get working and once again we're out of research let's come back into our research buildings we're done researching cost there one, two, three here, and finally, one, two, three there. So this will take care of all of our resource buildings and their cost. Okay, come into our glass company and upgrade our workforce. All right, so now we've got our glass company. Now, if we come back in here, you can see we're missing a few workers, and I think that's simply because each of these areas has a maximum number of workers. And we may have actually reached that. Either that or we're running out of materials. And nope, don't seem to be running out of materials. 
So I think we're good to go there. Okay, so let's go ahead back to our other factory and see if we can get this set up. So we want car glass. You can see we're going to need silica and graphite. I believe we have plenty of that. Okay, let's max out our production. 555. Wow, that's a lot. How much were we making in our second one? Okay, so, and again, that's with slightly reduced numbers of workers. Okay, so we're going to make 555 per day. Let's go ahead and set up where we want this to go. We're going to send it to warehouse number four because that's where our other uh, glass company is sending its car glass. Now let's get our raw materials, which I believe are both in warehouse number two. There's our silica and warehouse two again. There's our graphite. Okay, let's come back to our production line screen and see that, yes, we have plenty of both of those to make what we need. And they want us to build some more stuff, but we're not interested in that. Again, we're sticking to the script. All right, so we've got that going. Production is underway. Let's head back over to our warehouse. And now a personal electronics company doesn't have as much as it needs. That is very interesting. And let's see here. So mobile phones, what are they missing? They're missing batteries. All right. So interesting. Electronics factory make the batteries. So just when I thought I was going to get through here without having to worry about all of this, uh, let's see, where's our electronics companies? We need the one that's making... Not electronic components, but the batteries. There we go. So we're making a thousand of these per day. And it's hard to believe that's not enough, but it's not. So we're going to need more batteries. This is generally why, for the purposes of our videos, I like to max out production on everything. Just so when this kind of thing happens, I don't have to worry about finding these different areas and making more. All right, let's just to verify here, we've got 12,000 batteries in storage. Uh, let's take a look at our storage. And where are those located? Are those in the first one? Actually, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out right quick. And batteries, batteries. Nope, must be in three. Nope, I must be missing them. Well, I know one way we can, can find this out. If we find a, hope that's a chemical factory. If we find an electronics factory and come back to number one, because that's the one making the batteries and then see where it's being sent. Okay, they're being sent to warehouse number two. All right, so we simply, yeah, there we go. So we simply just don't have any. All right, so we'll go ahead and end here because again, I get excited during these videos, uh, trying to get as much production going as we can, but it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to stop it here because Otherwise, I will find yet another thing that we need to take care of in this video. So we're going to hold these till the next video when we need to spend some time shoring up our production chain as we need to get some more lithium ion batteries going. Thanks for joining me on episode number 15 of our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies.